magnificent. So, this is the soul of the Dark Dragon. I've never observed dragon energy this pure. I want to be clear, Yoahim. This is not a toy. Get me results, and don't make me regret handing this over. Of course, of course. I assure you, I have the matter in hand. One wonders, though. Have you informed Princess Excella that we've acquired this? The official report says it was never found. I don't want her disrupting our plan somehow. Ah, I see. And that's why you dampen the dragon energy aura on this one? So our dear princess wouldn't notice it. Correct. I've grown tired of keeping up appearances with that girl. I think it's time we went our separate ways. Oh, then the next phase can begin soon. Yes, things are already in motion. Which means I'll finally have a chance to study the other two. My, what a thrill. Any personal experiments can come later. I want to see results on the Dark Dragon first. Naturally, yes, but... Does this mean you're giving up on the Shining Dragon? The Shining Dragon's will seems deeply ingrained with that of its host. We won't get the Shining Dragon's sword unless we somehow get the boy's cooperation. An unlikely prospect at best. But the Dark Dragon is different. It has no will of its own. It's a mass of raw energy, just begging to be used. If we can get the sword of the Dark Dragon, then all draconic power will be ours to command. A blade that can bend even the will of a mighty dragon. Little wonder the texts call it the Dragon Imperator. That is the true power of the Dark Dragon's blade. The Dragon Resonator pales in comparison. The Imperator must be ours, Joachim. Do you understand? Failure is not an option. I'll see what I can do. I have more than enough observational data on the Shining Dragon's sword by now. Thanks to my analytic sacrament, I have some idea of how it should function in principle. I imagine I can create your sword. No, I know I can. Good to hear. I'm looking forward to your success. It shall be done. I am a genius, the finest magus of my time. With every thought, I change the course of history. Even with centuries upon centuries, our order could not manifest the will of Deus. But I, in a mere ten years, I made that dream a reality. Nothing is beyond my grasp. Hey, Georg. Seems like things are really kicking off for you. Indeed. Though apparently I can no longer count on Her Highness to deal with the Shining Dragon. So what are you gonna do? I'm letting Joachim handle it. He's much less likely to fail me. What? You don't need the Shining Dragon anymore? I will when we reach the final stage of our plans. Assuming the research pays off, of course. Really now? Well, do your best, big guy. You've still got to entertain me when all this is over. That is the whole reason I'm letting you inherit Deus, remember? Yes, I am well aware. So, if that's your plan, I can play with the Shining Dragon until you're done with your research. I suppose that's fine. But you are not to kill him until Joachim finishes his work. You understand? 
Yeah, yeah, relax. I'm not out to kill him. But... I'll make him wish he was dead. <laughs> Why would Deus favor someone like him? I cannot understand. What's that? You say something? No. Fine, whatever. Just get out there and do your best. So I can have all the fun I want. <laughs> Now, regarding the matter of the Dark Dragon, do you have any inklings as to Georg's recent behavior? His action report claimed he was unable to retrieve it. Is this an accurate account of events? Dunno. Joachim still hasn't come out of his mad scientist hole. Best I can tell, he's got a new toy for his research, but whether it's a dragon soul... And Georg gets all elusive every time I broach the subject. I don't think I'm getting anything out of him. I see. Which means... The only other account we have to go by is Astoria's. I'm certain I can't feel the Dark Dragon's soul anywhere in the Keep. I can hardly order an investigation with so little evidence. As it stands, the only unusual behavior I've seen is how Georg slips away to contact the mainland every now and then. Church correspondence, maybe? Contact with the priesthood? For what possible purpose? No clue. I'll say this, though. Chances are, it's got nothing to do with seeing your father's wish come true. Before you arrived, the whole immortality thing was never part of the conversation. Which can only mean this obsession with Dragon Souls serves different ends. Even more suspicious. My father's wish. Has it ever been possible? Immortality for the Emperor? I see. That's what you've been after all this time. Who goes? You, the Slayer. Sovereign Princess whom dragons heed, I would speak to you of the Shining Dragon. If slipping beyond the flow of time is truly your desire, you'll want to hear me out. What? <laughs> <laughs> 